Here is another parametric equation involving integration. We have a parametric curve given by x is t plus sine t and y is sine t and t is between 0 and pi inclusive. Part A, nice and easy, work out dy over dx in terms of t. Part B, find in exact form the coordinates where the tangent to the curve is parallel to the x-axis. Well, what does that mean? To be parallel to the x-axis, the tangent must be a horizontal line and therefore clearly they are basically looking for this point here the maximum okay so they're looking for the maximum and that's at dy by dx is equal to zero so that's what we're going to use for part b and lastly show that the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis as area two what they're asking us to show is show that the following area is equal to two units squared right let's give it a go part a Find dy by dx. We use the formula dy by dx. The chain rule is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. And let's work out each of these. If y is equal to sine t, then dy by dt must be equal to cos t. And if x is equal to t plus sine t, then dx by dt must be equal to 1 plus cos t. So therefore we can use this, dy by dx must be dy by dt, which is cos t, divided by 1 plus cos t, so it's simply cos t divided by 1 plus cos t for part A. In terms of t and everything's done. Okay, I'm going to rub these out. And I'm going to do part B. For part B, it says finding an exact uh, for the coordinates of where the point uh, where the tangent is parallel to the x-axis. What we need for this, as I said previously, we're looking for this point here where dy by dx is zero. So we're solving dy by dx equals zero, and that implies we're solving cos t over one plus cos t is equal to zero. Multiplying both sides by one plus cos t, we're solving cos t equals zero. And therefore, t, if we're thinking where cos is 0, the cos graph, the cos graph looks as follows. And in between 0 and pi, which is in between these two points here, it's 0 at pi by 2. So t must be pi by 2. But we want the coordinates, so we want the x and the y value. So therefore, y is equal to sine of pi by 2. And sine of pi by 2 is 1. And x is equal to pi by 2 plus sine of pi by 2, which is that. So the coordinates of this point here are pi by 2 plus 1 and 1. So here the coordinates are pi by 2 plus 1 and 1. And we're done for the next part. Okay, so let's do part C lastly. We're asked to show that the region bounded by the curve in the x-axis has the following uh, area, 2. So we're using the formula, the area is the integral between that t value and that t value, so t1 to t2, of y, in terms of t, obviously, and then dx by dt, dt. Okay, so how do we find this value here and this value here? Well, for t1, what we do know is that uh, x and y are zero. So x is 0 and y is 0. So what we're solving is we're solving 0 equals t plus sine t and we're also solving 0 equals sine t. Now uh, from this t is is equal to 0 is an answer and it works for both. Okay so t is 0 must be the answer for these. Obviously from this one uh, you could also get that t is equal to pi Okay, but then pi plus sine pi would not be zero. Okay, so it must be that one. And at t2, well, what must be tr true at t2? Well, we know that y is equal to zero and x is an unknown. So y is equal to zero. Again, sine t equals zero. t could be zero or pi, but this time it's the pi um, value because t is zero goes with that one. Okay, so... We've got our t1 and our t2, so the area is therefore the integral between 0 and pi. y of t, well y of t is sine t. 
dx by dt, we worked that out previously, is 1 plus cos t. And it's going to be with respect to t dt. Okay, so let's uh, have a go at working this out. This is the integral between 0 and pi of sine t plus sine t cos t. Expanding the brackets here. And we should just realise that I can integrate this, so this is fine, I'm going to be able to integrate that, but that, as it currently stands, I can't integrate that, but I could if I remembered my double angle formally, namely that sine 2t is 2 sine t cos t. So therefore, sine t cos t, 1 sine t cos t must be a half sine of 2t. So I'm going to replace this with a half sine 2t, and everything now can be integrated. So let's go ahead and do that. The integral of sine t is negative cos t, and the integral of this is going to be negative a quarter cos 2t. And we're working out that integral between 0 and pi. So let's substitute in pi first. Cos of pi is minus 1, so this would be uh, 1, if I minus minus 1. And the cos of uh, 2 pi is going to be 1, so it's going to be uh, subtract a quarter. And take away the answer when you put 0 in. Well, cos of 0 is 1, so it's going to be subtract negative 1, uh, subtract a quarter. Okay, and so what have we got there? We've got 1 minus a quarter is 3 quarters. Subtract negative 1 subtract a quarter and that's going to be equal to negative 5 over 4 so they end up being a plus so I'll get 8 over 4 which is 2 units squared as required and we've done for this question